Hello, hello, I'm Trisha Murray from the Birth and Baby Academy. Most of you in this group will know me. I know quite a lot of you really, really, really well. Um, so basically today we're talking about, what we're doing, this is the, the first part of the pain and childbirth mini series that I'm putting on over the next four days. And basically this has come around because I have been working with so many women recently post-birth. And one of the things that I'm hearing again and again and again is around pain in childbirth and about how nobody told them. Nobody told them it was, it was going to be painful, that nobody discussed it with them. In fact, everybody sort of hid it. And they would go to certain preparation classes and they were basically told to call the pain intensity or the contraction surges. And nobody had really, really, really spoken to them or forewarned them about why they might have pain in labour or really also how it might get worse, you know, what would make it worse, what would make it better, and how they can manage it. And really dissecting all of this, I think dissecting it is the first thing is people are scared to talk about it. But the other thing is um, that these women just have not understood anything. So of course, going into an environment that might feel really hostile is going to put up their pain, and we'll talk a lot more about that tomorrow. But one of the things that I think is really, really, really key is that we're scared to talk about pain in childbirth. And we're scared to talk about it because we don't want to frighten women, we don't want to really tell them how it is or how it might be, and we, um, we, it, it's, it's seen to be such a negative thing. So being in pain is seen to be such a negative, negative thing. But actually, I really disagree with that. So um, I think it's a really, big misunderstood conception because pain is really 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 important in childbirth and we'll, we're going to go on to that. The biggest thing I think that's really missing from antiquated education is really educating women about why they might have that pain. So rather than being scared to talk about it, let's educate women why they might have it, what makes it worse, what makes it better and really looking at all the different options that they have available to them. Pain doesn't necessarily need to be a negative thing. It's something we expose ourselves to every single day. Most of us will have at some point done exercise and pushed ourselves to the pain threshold. We expose ourselves every day to waxing, ear piercing, tattoos, whatever, and yet nobody sees that to be a negative sort of thing. So pain is something we expose ourselves to all the time. But in terms of pain and childbirth, this is like, I think, one of the biggest missing links in the fact is we're so, so scared to talk about it. Let's just for a moment, let's just think if we didn't actually have any pain at all in childbirth, what would happen? So just imagine that you've got no pain at all and suddenly this baby just comes out. So you could be in the middle of Tesco's, you could be in the underground, you could be on the bus, you could be at your mother-in-law's house, you know, you could be somewhere and this baby just appears. How would you feel? And not only how would you feel, how would everybody around you feel as well? So that pain is really signalling something to us. So it's really important. It serves a really important function. And I think we can't be scared of it. You know, we can't be scared of that pain because it's doing something really, really, really important. Just take you back, you know, just to go back a couple of hundred years. So go back a couple of hundred years when they don't have any scanning equipment, we don't know when our due dates are, we don't know anything at all. So we're just basically waiting for the arrival of this baby. So those early contractions that we're having, having they're telling us that something is happening to our body and that we need to prepare. We need to prepare for the arrival of our baby. So if we had no pain at all, that would be an issue because we, you know, we, we don't know what our due date is, we don't know anything at all. And so that pain is really signalling the arrival of our baby and that something is happening to our body and that we need to start preparing. So it's a really positive thing that our bodies are working really, really well by having that pain. And specifically around seeking protection of our baby and making sure that our baby is born into the right environment. So again, middle of winter, you know, if you had no pain at all, you were in the middle of London, Oxford Street, and this baby just popped out, you would have nothing ready for it. So it's so important that we have that pain because it just, it's telling us something is happening.
happening. To, it's alerting our whole system that something is going on. So what we would not, what we would have done a couple of hundred years ago, before we had those like amazing technologies and hospitals and everything else, is we would have gone off to seek the right conditions. So we'd have gone off to seek the right conditions to give birth in. So we'd have gone off to seek a warm, safe, comfortable environment that we could have given birth in. We would have started to build up our nest. So we talk a lot about nest building, but we don't really know what that means. So we sort of think it means that women are cleaning the, cleaning the house or whatever it is that they're doing. But actually that nest building is partly about creating the right environment for you to give birth in and also to have, you know, to have your baby. And finally, it's really important that when we have that pain, that we go to an environment where we feel safe. Now, 200 years ago, 200, no, 1,000 years ago, more than that, we would have had predators and other things around us. So we would have had um, animals, other tribes, people that we didn't necessarily want to have, that we didn't feel safe around. So now, in terms of safety, it's something slightly different, but it's really, really, really overlooked, that very simple function about feeling safe. And we'll focus much more on this tomorrow, about that feeling of safe, safety, but that feeling of safety is so, so vital. So that pain is telling us that we need to seek safety as, as soon as we possibly can, as well as the right environment and um, somewhere that we feel very, very, very comfortable. And that's how we'll give birth. And of course, pain is telling us that something is really happening to our body and our body is doing so much in terms of stretching, moving, making space for this baby to arrive. <coughs> So much of what we cover in the Birth and Baby Academy, specifically in the Birth Bundle, is really focusing in around that emotional safety. And it's something that's really forgotten. We have forgotten the importance of that emotional safety. So emotional safety from people, from things that we're not comfortable with, it's so, so, so vital. Um, and so we'll cover much, much more on this tomorrow in terms of what makes pain worse. Um, but when we feel safe in an environment, we are much more likely to give birth with ease, much more confidence, and we can work with our bodies. So, tomorrow we're going to talk a lot more about, um, tomorrow we're, we're talking about uh, what makes a uh, labour worse, or what makes pain and labour much worse. And then Wednesday we're going to talk about how to work with our body and how to make our bodies feel safe, and when we feel safe, what happens with our bodies, and in terms of what the current medical system is and how that doesn't necessarily interact with birth and um, on the Thursday we'll talk about um, all the different pain relief options because I really believe that we need to have a much more open discussion about, about that too because I think dignity in birth is vital and that often is something to do with pain relief. So anyhow if you've enjoyed this then do head off to the Birth and Baby Academy website and download our resources bundle. Um, I'm around for a few minutes if anybody wants to ask me any questions or certainly um, they can post some questions under this feed a bit later on and I'm really 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 happy to answer them and um, so please do that and, um, and I hope that you found this useful. So if you've got any questions now do feel free to ask them. If not if not, then do um, ask later on. So anyway, thank you. Bye.